Capricorn, hi. So this is going to be a reading for August 19th through the 25th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings. So they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Cappy. <coughs> Ooh, the overall energy for the reading, the tower. So this is a kick. I'm not sure of what type. Good kick, bad kick. Uh, I don't know how you'll feel this tower, but it's definitely something shaken up here. Um, okay. In the recent past, the Ace of Wands, the Six of Cups, the Magician. There's a soul connection there. There's someone that's making some sort of move there towards that soul connection. And then there's good manifestation in regards to that soul connection. So... For the most part, I kind of see good things coming in from there, but we'll see how that goes. In the current situation, the Six of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups. Um, you seem... Oh, that's the thing, because on one hand, you're giving me a good vibe over something in the sense of something's making you feel good. On the other hand, you're kind of telling me, oh, and I don't give a shit about the situation. So it's very hard to tell where you're at with this both places like it's making me feel good but i don't care okay i don't know what we're talking about there but we'll see we always see in the clarification part so stick around in the immediate future the four of cups the queen of swords the temperance card you're upset about something here and you've potentially been upset about something for quite a minute so it's not something that shows up overnight and oh now i'm upset about this no you've been upset about it for a minute and you kind of stick with what you believe of the situation which i don't know how good that is but let's uh let's see what the hell is going on here this is a twist in the energies let's see the tower for the tower you get the knight of swords the five of swords the king of pentacles this is you and this is you coming in and doing something which you feel like is the right thing to do. It's shown up as a, a pretty deceptive energy. Uh, it is creating a tower moment, so it is creating some sort of unpleasant energies. Um, because the action shows up as being a little bit deceptive. Even though you may believe wholeheartedly that no, this is this is right. Okay. Let's do the Ace of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Wands, the Temperance card. Yeah, this is something that may have played out over time. This soul connection here may have played out over time. Maybe you knew about it. There's definitely a sense of, huh, this is interesting, you know, for quite a minute. This may have played out for years here. But it keeps on coming back. Almost like, okay, if nothing's really happening the first time it shows up, it's going to come back. And then it's like, well, if nothing's happening, it's going to come back again. So it's kind of showing up a little bit like that. Okay. Where it almost seems like it's playing out for, for quite a long time. In the sense of, hmm. But every time it shows up, it brings kind of a hmm to the table, at least, you know. Let's do the Six of Cups. Okay. For the Six of Cups, you get the Two of Cups, the Sun, the Hermit. Yes, yeah, something definitely is playing out in the nicest way possible, eventually. So once it gets past this phase of coming back over and over again, it actually settles into a nice energy of potential love there. You know, it looks quite good. Um, okay. Let me do the Magician. Hmm? The Seven of Swords, the Death card, the Knight of Cups. So somebody's manifesting, and by somebody I mean you. Uh, you're manifesting something to the extent of 
how you perceive this manifestation is through love for things to work out especially through this energy of love the thing is this manifestation comes in as deceptive because you get a massive fear attached to it that this is not going to go anywhere this is this is eventually going to end and nothing can be done about it and it's going to go there anyway so fuck it you know and this fear either you know it's there and you're ignoring it or you don't know it's there and you're pretending that there is no fear i never have fear around love what the fuck is wrong with you it's there and it's massive you know whether you know about it or not or say there is no such thing it's there and it's huge okay let me do the six of wands in the current situation you get the ace of swords the four of cups the strength card see that's where it's becoming a little bit contradicting because you're showing me i'm doing something or i'm saying something which feels so good to me but then you're showing me the actual feeling behind it and that feeling doesn't feel good you're actually upset but you're like you're ignoring that you know, there's something about this action that you're doing and you're showing up so, oh, it feels so good. Does it? I don't think that it does. I don't even know what the hell you're doing here, but something. And I feel like it's shown up as, to you, potentially not a big deal. But the impact it has on whatever it is you're bringing this action towards, it's quite a big deal. So that's why it's taken as, hold on a minute, you know. Um, for the Nine of Pentacles, in the current situation, you get the Justice card, the Eight of Cups, the Lovers. You're doing something here that involves, most likely, another energy and you're not collaborative in this energy you're kind of going off and doing it on your own it's like um let's say you have a best friend and it would be nice to go on a vacation somewhere i don't know and you've talked about it like yeah it would be nice yeah yeah no let's let's you know let's meet up and set something up and then you thinking that it's a good idea and plan you come up the next day and you're like i booked us tickets to who knows what and what without asking them hey are you off from your job or can you take off from your job at that time or you know like you don't take them into consideration at all from where you stand it's freaking amazing it's an amazing idea it's like what do you mean you know we just talked about it Okay, but we didn't talk about it, talk about it. You know what I mean? So it's kind of looking a little bit like that, where this action involves more than just you. But you're deciding for everybody involved. Kind of a deal, you know? Um, and again, <laughs> the angle you're shooting from, because I see you where you stand here, and it feels good to you. It's like, it's the most beautiful gesture in the world, right? But then how it's being taken on the other side, there's a downer side to it, like a big one. Like, no, it's not. It's actually inconsiderate. And it's like, you know, you didn't include me in this, even though I'm part of it or something like that. You know what I mean? So that's kind of how it's playing out, this one. Um, that was just an example. This can apply to pretty much anything you would be dealing with. But, um, and at the end of the day, it's going to be interpreted as you don't give a shit about their opinion or their schedule or their you know you decided for them kind of a deal and again coming back to you it's like no i didn't you yeah, know i planned it out really nice and it's like we just talked about it though yeah but no you know what i mean because think of it if roles were reversed here and maybe they are because you know general reading but yeah would you be okay with that if that were to happen in that way towards you probably you would have the same reaction as you just don't give a shit about my involvement in this you know for the eight of cups um in the current situation you get the seven of pentacles the ten of wands the ace of cups 
you, whoever this is that's at the other end of this, um, is kind of looking at it as, I understand you mean well. I understand you're coming from the best place possible. But at the end of the day, this whole shebang is going to show up as if you don't give a shit about my involvement in this. You know what I mean? So on one hand, they understand, okay, I know where you're coming from and your intentions, and they're freaking amazing. They're great. But the but just disqualified the first part of the sentence because what's important out of this is the involvement of all energies that are part of this, you know? And there's been quite the pushing to the side of those energies in someone's decisions or actions here. You know, so I don't know what this situation is. Uh, I didn't want to say shit, even though it came out like that. What this shebang is all about, that's what I wanted to say. But, um, you know, from something that you would deem to be quite little and possibly even, like, what the fuck, they're not appreciating this. Uh, I think it turns into something quite the opposite of what your intention might have been here you know something a little messy from what i can see in the immediate future for the four of cups you get the two of pentacles the ten of cups the nine of swords by the way if there's any connection from the past energy to the current one uh that's how your fear is actually manifesting here because when fear shows up in whichever circumstance it's going to push us into taking control of things uh what this action does is actually thinking that you're in charge of things you're in control of things here um if there's any connection honestly personally i don't necessarily see that connection between the past energy and this one i feel like this is part of a different part of your life and then this one that shows up here i feel like it's more uh tied up to something uh, there could be it could be the same situation but for some reason i'm seeing it something else though anyways um for this one here hmm you're finding yourself in a place of, you know, after all is said and done here, it kind of leaves the situation hanging in a place of what the fuck just happened, you know, like, where are we now? Um, so kind of hanging there. And then I see you slowly but surely realizing what just happened there, you know, as far as your participation in this is concerned. Um, and you seem a little bit upset. You seem a little bit upset. So there's definitely an acknowledgement of how this action is being viewed from the other side, you know, um, and potentially ownership of, yeah, even though I meant well, I might have kind of created a situation here, you know, for the queen of swords in the immediate future, you get the four of swords, the eight of wands, the seven of cups. All right, you're coming back to redeem yourself you're coming back uh, once you gain a little more clarity and you're very okay everything is out in the open especially as far as you're concerned for you um you're coming in with addressing the situation completely from a very healthy balanced clear space um good this is the first time i'm seeing a very clear energy um over the situation in terms of acknowledging it and taking it for what it is and then just kind of um coming and address this whole mess that's been created because basically that's what happened here uh for the temperance card you get the queen of wands the queen of cups the knight of pentacles things are going to be okay things are going to go back to i'm not going to say normal but back to something quite healthy here and beautiful you know, uh, slowly but surely. This situation is definitely going to need some time. But 
um, I see things if taken one day at a time and, you know, addressed in the way that they should be. Um, I see healthy energies coming back over the situation. So the mess that's shown up here as being currently created, apparently, uh, it's going to resolve itself. As long as both parts are equally taking responsibility for whatever the hell happened here, and I feel like they will, um, things are going to be okay here. You know? So let's see what the universe has. The Five of Cups, the Empress, the Ten of Swords. Yeah, right now everything's kind of in the dump of these energies. So these energies are not going to feel pretty, unfortunately. It's it's because everything is kind of clustered in there as what the fuck, you know. Um, it's in there. It's happening right now. You know, the, the not so ugly part of things is happening right now. Um, again. I'm not super concerned about it, especially because I see a way out of that. So if you're um, grabbing at that energy that is going to kind of give you a sense of clarity and, and also understanding that where you're coming from is not the universal way of coming at things. You know, not everybody's going to react in the same way or respond in the, in the way you would expect them to, even if your intentions are the best. You know, you got to look at what truly happened over there. And I feel like you are. I feel like you're going to go there, you know, with this one. So that's what I have for you. Hope to sell it and I'll see you next time. Bye.